Welcome to A Simple Life. So this is day four of having the goats in the IV area. Now, I didn't film day three because it was yesterday. I had a really long day. I didn't get home until like almost seven o'clock from work. So we didn't film that, but I want to come up now. I want to show you kind of what they've done, how much they've stripped the IV off of everything. And you can see there's a bunch of bottles and stuff back here, a bunch of trash. We're going to get in and clean all that up. But they've gone, gone through and done a lot of work. I mean, and they're still they're still going. They're still going, but they've, they've cleaned up a lot of this stuff on the ground. Um, they've gotten in. Oh, look down here. This, this shelter down here, they ate almost all the ivy off the roof. Now, there's still a lot in here. You can see there's still a ton in here. So they're not done. They're not done by any means. Oh, what is that? Interesting. Oh, mushrooms. Oh, look at those. I don't even know what kind of mushrooms those are. Interesting. Red mushrooms. Probably not good for you. Let's not eat those. They've, I mean, they've really stripped the area of a lot of the ivy and a lot of that. I mean, there's not really much else I can do other than burn. That's the other thing to get in here and do a little bit of controlled burns but we're not really allowed to we're not really allowed to do that in this area uh, so I it's not something I'm gonna do um, it can get in quite a bit of trouble but that being said they've done a really good job we're gonna take one tree down right now that has the ivy on it so we're gonna take this one down right here it's already leaning downhill so it'll come down really easy but before before we do that I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna clean up any glass that I see because I don't want to have to clean up broken glass and I don't want to have goats that have cuts on them. Well, I don't know if you guys know how much these go for. They're about 15 bucks a piece, so there's $15. Clint, don't break this. Yeah. If you break it, it's $15. So there's obviously a trash pile here. This is gonna be easiest picked up with um, my excavator coming on and accessing it from the road, which is not gonna be today. The Herman's coming to inspect to see what the goats are doing. So we're gonna take that tree down right there. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, two for the bowl. 
So it seems like my goats were not impressed with the falling tree. They all kind of went over there. <laughs> I, to be honest, didn't realize it was gonna make that much noise. They've been around me when I ran the saw a lot. Typically when I run the saw, it's not stuff as big as this, but they'll get used to me taking these trees down. I'm not taking down every tree that has ivy. I'm just taking down the stuff that's completely unhealthy. Come here, you old man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, you just get around, but... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you old man. Hey, Rebus. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You're getting big, baby. She's getting big, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, no, but what about food? Are they still eating up there? Yeah, don't feed her. Uh -uh. Don't feed her. Uh -uh. Good job, Clint. You know what those are? What? Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No. They're going up there to eat, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Herman. Huh? Where'd you get all the boxes, the wood boxes? Oh, I don't know. They're, a they're apple boxes. Maybe. They're from, for apples, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Apple. Yeah. Yep, they're for apples. So we're gonna take these apple boxes and fill them full. We haven't used them. And so uh, we don't use them. So we're gonna fill them full of these glass jars, the good ones. The bad ones we'll put into a different canister. We have a ca trash can that we put all the broken stuff in. And then we'll take them up and put them in the barn. So, but they're pretty cool. Look at those. Pretty cool, huh, boys? Yeah. All right. So there's a bunch of the back there, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get, I'm gonna hand you guys the, the good glass jars. So we got, Six of the one gallon jugs that were still good. And, and some nine. mason jars, a couple, one old blue one, some pretty cool stuff. A lot of these are from the 20s from what I have found from looking at other jars that I found around the property. So we got a handful of stuff that's gonna go in our broken glass trash can. We have a trash can we put all the bro broken glass in. The goats have water. They have a tree now to nibble on. I'm sure they'll be back up here in a little bit. That livestock guardian goat, right there, he's literally just taking like branches off. I just watched him vacuum up a branch. Uh, they're so funny. They're eating the little the little uh, seeds. A little baby right there, right there, just nibbling away. He's right here. Yeah. I've had a few people ask me how often do my goats kid uh, during the year since I leave a buck with them all the time. Well, funny part is, if you leave a buck with them all year long, they still only kid once. And they go into rut the same time all the deer and elk do. So uh, it's usually like October, September, October, August, September, October, somewhere in there, they end up going in a rut. They get super smelly and they breed everybody. But the rest of the year, I leave my bucks in there and it's not an issue. I've never had a problem with it. Um, they, they literally will only kid. Now, if you want to hold your buck off, for example, let's say I want to breed a certain point, then you hold your buck back. When you put them in, they will go into heat and that's a different story. But in this case, I only ever have kids once a year. They're all about the same time, it's January, February, somewhere right in there. And the rest of the time, no kids. Thank you so much for joining us on A Simple Life. It was great to check on the bees. It looks like we have three good, healthy hives. One hive definitely was a loss, but it was a weak hive to begin with. I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it, but we have three healthy hives. And so we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us on A Simple Life. Bye.